Hello guys, welcome to another coast review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Wild Eagle at Dollywood, which is a B&M wing coaster. And so I'm going to talk about the stats real quick. So it sits at a height of 210 feet, has a speed of 61 miles per hour. And, and just what I want to say real quick is that the terrain for this ride is absolutely amazing. As this coaster is actually the tallest in the park. Some say Lightning Ride is taller, but this is actually the tallest one in the park. And this coaster has its pros and its cons. I'm going to talk about that real quick. So some of the pros I have with this roller coaster is that it was honestly more intense than I expected. I was honestly surprised because people were telling me that this ride's really forceless. And it was towards the back where it got kind of forceful, which I was honestly surprised. I actually had a gray out during the loop, which was honestly, I was not expecting that. And also I found it to be very smooth and just overall the terrain just really added to the coaster. Now the here, let's talk about the cons real quick is the restraints. That's my main complaint with this roller coaster, is the restraints on this thing suck. It's literally a vest restraint, but it tightens throughout the ride, and after my first ride, I could not breathe while we're sitting on the brake run. Like, we were sitting on the brake run, and I just, I just couldn't breathe. Like, it was crazy. But I mean, in all honesty, that's really the only thing I have to complain about. I mean, the wing concept is just absolutely awesome. Like, I know there's more wing coasters out there, but this is the only one that I've done so far. I have yet to ride rides like Gatekeeper. I mean, this also is a very pretty coaster, like I've said before. I love the terrain about on this roller coaster. It definitely fits well with Dollywood's coaster lineup. I think this is definitely a coaster that definitely stands out at Dollywood. I don't think it's bad by any means. People say this coaster sucks, and I don't think it sucks. I think it's a great ride, but honestly, like... It just depends on where you sit, honestly. I, f I don't know which one I prefer, but let's get to the ride real quick. So you go up the lift hill, you go down a drop, and this drop kind of gave me Mako vibes in a way. I don't know why. So then afterwards, you go into this vertical loop, which was more intense than I expected, which I don't know how it was kind of forceful. So then you go into a zero-g roll. I mean, it was okay, I guess. Not the best zero-g roll I've experienced. It kind of depends on which side you're sitting on. Then you go into this Immelman. I'll... Like, I don't know which side of it. Okay, but anyways, they go to the corkscrew, which was, uh, it was alright. Then you go to this airtime hill, and this is where the restraints suck. Like, you can barely breathe during this airtime hill. Then you go into this helix, which isn't too forceful, but then here comes the most intense power ride. The final helix, which this is a very intense portion. I was very surprised by this helix, especially in the back row. But then you hit the final brakes. The ride length on this ride is fine. Like, it's not a short ride, but it's not that long of a ride. So I think that's good as well, which I forgot to mention. So overall, what do I think of Wild Eagle? I think this is a pretty good roller coaster, actually. I definitely enjoyed this coaster. It's not my favorite coaster at Dollywood. It's far from my favorite. It does not It does not make the top three at Dollywood, in my opinion, but this is definitely a great ride still. So first overall score, I'm going to go ahead and give Wild Eagle an 8 out of 10. The reason why I'm subtracting two points from this is because the restraints. And also, it's not the most intense ride in the world, which I get, but it was definitely more intense than I expected. But the restraints on this thing, like, I get why they're there, but honestly, I just was not a fan of the restraints at all, which definitely kind of ruined the ride for me. So that's going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you liked it a lot, don't forget to smash the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos if you enjoyed this review. I also have a full playlist of other roller coaster reviews, which are listed in alphabetical order. Also, don't forget to check out Theme Park Guy Productions on Instagram for more updates and content. And I will see you guys next time and have a theme tacular day.